Hello, I'm Mike Tassino with Emerson, and I'm sharing more tech tips to help you get the most value from your FB3000 RTU and FB Series Flow computers. Today, I will be demoing how you can easily create a custom display through the FBX View feature. This is part of FBX Connect that works for both FB Series Flow computers and the FB3000 RTU. I'll also show you an example of a more complex display to provide some ideas on what you could do to reduce your workload and focus your time. Let's get started. First select FBX View in the FBX Connect ribbon menu, then press New, which will open up a brand new blank FBX View display. To start, I'll drag some controls from the, the developer toolbar down to the canvas. I'll grab a couple of gauges here, drag those down, drag a few text boxes here onto the screen, and I'll also grab an image here and move that to the canvas. Then I'll line everything up. Now that I've got things lined up where I want them, I'll click on each control and then click source to choose which parameter is displayed in that control. So let's say for the gauge here, I want to uh, put in my corrected volume flow rate. So I'll choose that selection and press OK. On the right hand gauge here, let's say I want to put in my energy flow rate. Well, I can find that as well. And since I'm using a differential pressure meter today, perhaps I want to show the three main inputs to that meter. So that would be in these text boxes here. I would choose my differential pressure to start here. So I'll use my differential pressure in use value. For the second text box, I will display perhaps the pressure. So I'll go find that flowing pressure in use. And then I'll pick my temperature. Then for this image down here, perhaps I want to include my company's logo. So I'll go to the source for this and browse on my computer for my company's logo. Then I'll click OK. Now that I've got a source of all the, for all these parameters, I'll move over to the preview mode to see what my display will look like with live values. So as you can see here, I've got values loaded up now, but I do have a maximum and minimum issue with my dials. So let's go ahead and back, go back to configure mode and fix that. So I'll click on the gauge and then go to the minimum and maximum value here. And I'll change these limits to be more in line uh, with the values I want to represent. I'll click on the second dial here and enter in a different set of limits as well. And let's go back to preview mode here. And you can see here, looks like those error indicators went away. And let's say for my corrected volume flow rate, Perhaps I wanted to see where the alarms I've got line up with my current value. So I can go back to configure mode and click on the left hand gauge here. And you can see here you've got an option for bands. So that's a different colored band that I could use to represent a uh, high and high high limit. So I'll go ahead and set that up real quick. Okay, you can see I filled in some limits here. So I have different bands of color where my high, high alarm limit and high alarm limits are. So when I go to preview mode here, you can see that my corrected volume flow rate dial here has a green band of color for when the flow is in a desired state. 
when it is in a high alarmed state, it's yellow, and when it's in a high, high alarmed state, it's red. When you're done with the display, you can go back to configure mode, and you can save the FBX view display as a standalone display, which means it's not tied to a specific application, or you can associate it with a custom FBX designer application. Today, I would just save it as a standalone display. So I'll enter a name here and press save. I'll select yes for the option to download the display to my FB1200 flow computer, which allows other people who access this FB1200 or whatever FB3000 or FB series flow computer you are talking to with FBX Connect the ability to see these custom displays. Otherwise, if you don't select download, this display will be available on your PC and for your connections only. Now, browsing to the FBX View tab, you can see the display we've created is now in the standard menu system. I'll show you a different display. This separator display illustrates how with a little more practice and perhaps training, you can create an advanced display. FBX View is a great tool which allows you to easily put together simple displays like what I demonstrated with gauges and text boxes or create complex advanced dynamic displays. For questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to your Emerson Impact Partner, Local World Area Representative, or tech support for assistance. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit emerson.com slash flowcomputers and emerson.com slash fb3000rtu.